Shots fired, shots fired. Hi everyone, Donut here. Oh my God, it's Jeeves. <laughs> hey buddy, look, dad's making money so you can have those stupid expensive phones, all right? Police YouTuber beats black men on video. Where was I? Oh yeah, I do police content on this channel. Let's do that. As far as I know, there have been two pieces of body camera footage ever where a civilian has a firearm and helps an officer in a gunfight. See how I did that little trick where I didn't say gun in the first couple seconds? You algorithm. One of those two pieces of body camera footage was just released this month. In the footage that we're going to review today, two police officers get shot in the head and then some crazy ass person who just happened to be there, some civilian runs over and lays down some hate downrange for the police officers. This is a nutty situation. You know what else is nutty? People who steal your identity. You ever tried to Google yourself and then your ah. pops up? Wait, I mean, not that. You ever try to Google yourself and your personal information pops up? Give it a try. My God, I Googled Brandon Herrera and I can see that he hasn't completed the AK-50. Super serial though, what these guys do is they take your personal information, Googleable information, and they sell it to spammers and bot callers and all these other people who you don't want to talk to. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. Aura can identify these people who are getting your information and submit opt-out letters to them. And legally, they have to remove all your information. You can get a two-week free trial right now by going to Aura.com donut. That's not the only thing they can do to protect you and your family, though. Aura offers so many neat features all in one place. They offer things like parental controls, antivirus, VPN, password, management, identity theft insurance, and more all for one affordable price. One of the other things that I love about Aura is their parental controls. I can keep my son from looking at big giant anime. Ah. At least give it a try for two weeks, see what Aura can do for you. And if you don't like it, just cancel it and they won't charge you anything. Like I said, get all of these amazing features in one single place at Aura.com slash donut. Let's do some shootings. This is some of the craziest ah. shit that I've ever seen on the internet. And I've been unsupervised on the internet since 1998. The good old days of downloading boobies off of LimeWire and then your parents finding the pictures of said boobies and you saying no a virus downloaded those boobies i never could have done that it was me i downloaded all them boobies oh god now my mom knows at the first of this video you heard me say there was only two that i could find where civilian takes up a gun and helps a police officer one of those i did a couple of weeks ago you might remember that one it got i think almost five million views thank you by the way and it was called cop gives bystander a gun and crazy shootout tldr a cop had gotten into a gunfight on the side of the interstate a retired deputy runs up to help the cop gives the retired deputy his backup gun and they have a two-on-one gunfight in favor of the law. Get on the ground now! Hey. <laughs> The bad guy in that situation literally loses his mind, quite like the bad guy in the last video that I did in Charleston. Whatcom County, the very top left of our great nation that borders America's gun-hating vagina hat. Canada. February 10th, 2022. That's right, this happened over a year ago. But this being a tricky situation and legal proceedings, a bunch of bureaucratic gobbledygook, the body camera footage was just released. 911 received a call about a drunk man shooting a shotgun at a neighbor's house. Well, that's one gnarly call to respond to, ladies and gentlemen. Deputies Jay Thompson and Ryan Rathburn, who are best friends and partners, show up to the scene first. Both officers have many, many years of law enforcement experience. They show up and seeing as how this is a very hairy situation, they don't immediately go knock on the dude's door. That's a really good way to get shot through the door or shot from a window in case there really is a guy inside who's shit housed and playing with a shotgun. It's not best to take the frontal approach on that one. They post up behind cover where they can yell at the dude just to ask him what's going on. And this is how he responds. Talk to him, is he? No, no one's talked to him yet. Okay, so that's it's probably a two officer contact if you talk to him. Why don't you give us the air again? The offending party is coming and going from the door yelling. I don't want to order him out till we get another person. Hey, sir. As you can see, one deputy has his AR out, looks like a Daniel Defense, and the other deputy behind the tree has his service pistol out. The deputies are like, hey, this guy really doesn't want to cooperate with us, so let's wait on a couple of more officers to get here. They can't exactly walk away from the scene now, and then, you know, some innocent neighbor gets blasted by a dude who's drunk with a shotgun. No, it's the sheriff's office. Why don't you come out with your hands empty and talk to us? That's my beard. All right, that was kind of funny. A couple of minutes go by and both deputies take cover behind the neighbor's garage. That's when our suspect says, Sheriff's office, why don't you come out and talk to me with your hands empty? If you're a sheriff, I'm going to get the f out of here. 
That's a credible threat towards law enforcement, which means they have probable cause or PC to make an arrest. They'll talk about that in a second, but again, they can't just go barreling down there because dude might have a shotgun. And turns out that was a good idea not to barrel down there. Tell these people to put the goddamn smoke down, take a ride on the wild side, hit it. Oh, he's fucking ah. lit. Drop the gun! Yep. Sheriff's office, drop the gun! Uh, oh! Mm. Shots fired, shots fired. Oh! Fuck! Cindy, shots fired! Well, that happened quick as hell. Before I show any more of the video for YouTube purposes, I gotta blur some of this. Head wounds bleed a lot. There's a lot of blood. YouTube doesn't like blood. Unless it's drinking the adrenochrome of babies. Anyways, if you wanna see the completely unedited footage, you can go over to my raw police footage channel called Donuts Raw Police Footage. That'll be in the comments and the description below. The deputy with the pistol gets shot in the face and retreats to the garage so his partner with the rifle steps up and starts popping off at the suspect. While under fire, the suspect gets another shot off and shoots that deputy in the face. Well, how the hell are they still up and fighting after they got shot in the face, you might ask? Well, that's because this <coughs> Cole was using birdshot. If you're unfamiliar with different shotgun loads, this is a slug, basically a big bullet. This is buckshot, basically a couple of marble-sized ball bearings. And this is birdshot, a bunch of BBs that move really fast. As you can see in the aftermath of the deputy who was shot first, Deputy Thompson, it's not something that would be very fun to be hitting the face with. The two deputies do as much as they can to stay in the fight though and try to hold a good angle so the guy can't rush them. Some awesome ass neighbor who was there with the deputies, I guess he was behind him, runs up and unloads on the suspect with what looks like a 1911, I'm guessing because it was eight shots. I'm hit! Seven for walking. <laughs> Give me the air. Shots fired. We have two officers hit in the head. I don't have a whole lot. Oh, yeah! Okay? Yeah! I need A, but we need replacements. Are you hit? Yes. yes! In the head! We're both hit. In the head! Both officers, officers hit in the head! Okay. Stop the act. I'm losing vision in my left eye. Okay. This way around and then back. We gotta go back? Yeah, to my right. My rig's down there. Yes, no, my cars are here. Yeah, but we gotta get into the fucking car. The deputies make their way back to the road so they can try and get into one of their patrol vehicles and head to the hospital. They rotate out with more deputies while the neighbors with guns show up to help provide cover. Get in, Bone, get in. Back seat, get in. Oh, open. Roll the window down. No more shots were fired, and the suspect eventually surrendered to police. Walk it on your face! Get on your face! Get on your face! Get on your face! Hands out! You guys are really making a big scene out of them. Keep your taser on him. Yeah. Kill me. I'm coming up to the cup. Holy shit, all you guys are here for me? <laughs> 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 I Can I have some shoes? <laughs> this is real. Let's go. What's wow, your name? This is really What's your cool. Name? You yep. can shoot me if you want. Yeah, he's kind of a fucking idiot and just kept laughing about it and didn't think it was much of a big, a big deal. They shot two cops in the face. They had a gunfight with police. So dumb fuck was eventually charged with two counts of first degree attempted murder, first degree assault while armed with a firearm, second degree assault while armed with a firearm, felony harassment, and six counts of reckless endangerment. He was held on a $5 million bond. And to top it all off, if he wasn't already spending the rest of his life in prison, the two deputies are suing him in civil court for everything he has. We're not just here to put on um, a badge and, and, and go to work and be, you know, your, your, you're the backstop for your gunfire. We're not here to be your victim. We're not going to continue to be, and we're going to hold you accountable. <laughs> Get ah! nerd. Good news is though, both deputies returned to the line of duty 350 days after they got shot. Deputy Rathburn had to have six surgeries and nearly lost his left eye, but regained partial vision. Deputy Thomas suffered a traumatic brain injury and is undergoing therapy for PTSD. What do you think about this situation? How do you think the deputies handled this situation? Could anything have been done better? Do you think they handled handled it to the best of their ability after being shot in the face by some ah. head. Let me know in the comments below if you want to help support the channel. You can always go on over to words are hard donutoperator.com. Get some super sweet merch or subscribe to me on any other platform. Follow me, do all that. Ah. I love you guys. And until next time, have a fantastic day. Back.